Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and I'm back with another epic vintage toy hunt adventure. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Chris Burfield. My friends call me Burf, and I hunt for vintage toys and thrift stores. So if you like vintage toys and you like thrift stores, chances are you're gonna like my channel, so I would invite you to hit that subscribe button. Feeling a little under the weather today, guys. Got a little respiratory stuff going on, so uh, don't mind the wheezing and the uh, sexy voice. But uh, yeah, something's going on. But I'm healing up, that's the important thing. So man, guys, I gotta tell you, today I found, well, not today, this video was actually filmed weeks ago. I'm filming this segment today. But I found one of the coolest board games, one of the coolest vintage board games I've ever seen. I've never even known this, I never even knew this thing existed. So I'm excited to show that to you today. I'm gonna show it to you in the store and then we're gonna do a little show and tell with it towards the end of the video. So I'm excited, I hope you're excited. If you are, hit that like button and then let's roll out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Okie dokie, let's rock and roll. What is this thing? I don't know what that is. I was looking to see if there was like, it says Westminster Inc. Maybe some sort of like horse racing game. Oh, a dog. It's probably like a dog racing game. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Too bad it didn't have the pieces. Let's check out this dude. Who is that? Maybe some sort of Marvel figure. Anything on this side? Oh, look at this thing. It's like some sort of peacock or something like that. Okay. We got a Luke's lightsaber. Oh, this Darth Vader helmet's still here from the other day. Well, since there's nothing on the shelves, let's check Baggy Land. Oh, looks like we got a Papa Smurf in there. Some dinos. Is this sectars? Mm, no, I don't think so. Just a just a big old spider. More dinos. More dinos. Oh, this horse, this horse, I actually had uh, I think he pulled a like a stagecoach. I think I had something like that when I was a kid. Speaking of stagecoaches, here's one here, a Wells Fargo. Looks like a Christmas ornament. Oh, there's a, like a TMNT matchbox or something. It's the Batman. Oh, what's this? They, I think they just put this out. Looks like it's missing some pieces, but it's kind of cool. Is it a Star Wars vehicle? Yeah, so it is uh, Star Wars. Uh, I think it's from Clone Wars. It's called like a blood ship or something like that, but it's missing quite a few pieces. So I'm just gonna leave it here. Oh, check out this uh, Spider-Man. Actually, I had a red one like this a while back. So here's a trouble game, but it's a retro series. So if it were vintage, I'd probably pick it up. Got a cart full of stuff he just brought out. Let's go check it out. See, yeah. looks like a cool game. We'll have to investigate that. All right, so I just grabbed this off the cart. Let's open it up. They only want 99 cents for it, but I don't know if it's all there. We're about to find out. Whoops. Here's more game board. Here's some pieces. Okay, we got the instructions, the spinner. So I'm gonna see what the instructions say about pieces and how many there should be. All right, gang, from what I can see, everything is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. It's like only a dollar. How cool is that? And I just saw this game of life, which I've never played this game actually. Oh, that looks cool. See, I told you that board game looks 
awesome. It is so cool. Like, it actually, like, you know, stands up and stuff like that. So anyway, we're going to do some show and tell with it at the end of the video. But in the meantime, let's go hit up a goodie wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. We are at the goodie wheel, baby. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? Let's see what we can find. I see this big guy is still here. I want $22 for him, which I think is a little overpriced. Okay, anything down here in the aisles? Maybe we'll get lucky. Find some Vinti toys. But I think we're gonna get skunked. Yeah, coolest thing here is this guy and he ain't even cool. What do I got here? Oh, check that out. Is that like a tomato? Well, I just looked this thing up and it's selling for like $25 and it's supposed to be a strawberry. They want uh, $2.99 for it, but only one has been sold in the last 90 days. So I'm probably gonna pass on it. Well, when you don't succeed at one goodie will, you just try another. Let's go hit up this other joint. All right, my friends. Goodie will number two. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got something good. Something vintage. Something to get me all jazzed up. I'm ready to be on that jazz, man. All right, let's see what they got. Okay, guys. Let's see what they got. Some Rubik's cubes. What's in here? Uh, just a bunch of small Disney stuff. Oh man, that thing is trashed. Looks like we got a bag with some Spider-Man stuff in it. But other than that, I think we're gonna get busted. We got like a TMNT ATV. Busted again. Always getting busted at the goodie wheel. Not always, but like 90% of the time, you know? So, but hey, you know, we got one more thrift store to hit up. Let's go hit up Thrift Shitty, baby. Okay, here we are, thrift shitty baby. Let's see if they got anything else other than a shield on the shelves. Oh, check out that dude. Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Well, I'm just seeing a bunch of junk. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Yep, there's nothing in the glass case. <sighs> nothing in there for me. There were like some football or hockey cards or baseball. I don't know, there were some like collectibles, some collectible, collect card, what? There were some cards in the glass shelf, but like, I don't know enough about cards and the value of them and which sets are worth money and which ones aren't. So I just passed on it, man. I just passed on it. But we did score a really cool vintage board game. What's it called here? Oh, what a mountain. Let's check this sucker out. Oh, what a mountain. Check this thing out. It is so colorful. And it's got some like really awesome artwork on it. I really love the design of it we got this little spinner right here you know to take our turns with we got this little stack of cards now i have no idea how to actually play this game i'll have to read the directions but doesn't it make for a really cool display piece like these little parts like this thing right here and that flag like they actually all move there's something that like there's like you put something in here i don't know if you put one of these guys maybe yeah, and then they come out here at the bottom. Let's do that again. Isn't that cool? 
So these little dudes remind me of the, uh, what's, what was the name of that game on Price is Right where the little guy went up the mountain? I can't remember what it was called, but that's what he kind of reminds me of. But you got four game pieces, and I just think it's really a truly magnificent piece. I've never seen a game like this before. I didn't even know this thing existed. It's from 1980. But, oh my gosh, like, I'm very, very excited, really jazzed up over this, guys. I just think it's awesome. Well, that's all I got for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor and smash that like button. <sighs> it's hard to breathe. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, then check out this next video.